Okay, test team one, two, three. Weather is right here. Wind. <laughs> There's your wind. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Okay, hey, here we are at Always in Stitches. Thanks so much for tuning in for what's new. We have our weather rock, which is a little, it's, uh, we've been outside. My sunglasses are dark because they're that, they auto change colors, you know, so they're dark, that's why. Um, and it, we set it in the sun and it was warm and it didn't blow away. So that means it's a sunny day. I have my sandals on, you know, we have the sandal thing going on. So my little toes are hanging out. Pedicures do this week, so don't look too close at the nails, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing sandals, but I have to confess that as much as Peter does an outstanding job of being the weatherman, and he does, he's behind the camera giving me a big smile, I didn't pay attention. And so last week after we did the What's New video, instead of like putting on my jacket because it was a little chilly, I walked out without it and I got cold. <laughs> And when I came back in, Peter's like, you didn't pay attention to the weatherman. I'm like, I didn't. But we have a whole thing planned for Weather Rock. So stay tuned for the Weather Rock. It might get a little bigger. And if you come to the store, you might see something fun with our Weather Rock. So we're a bunch of knuckleheads around here, aren't we, Peter? Because we've come up with some we are. silliness. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So we, weather today is warm and sunny. We tried filming this outside. <laughs> It was too windy. We set up a table outside and everything, and then things started blowing off the table, and you couldn't hear anything because of the wind. Yeah, so we decided that was a bad idea. So we're starting out here today. Sometimes we're in the studio, sometimes right here. Today we're out here on the sales floor. We've shown you this fabric before, but we just got the patterns in. So I really want you to see. Um, this is Terry Dagan Kolb is the designer. It's a Wyndham um, fabric, and it's... Um, the fabric is called my, Be My Neighbor, which is just adorable. Um, and we just got her patterns in to go with this. And so if, if you've been looking at it and thinking, well, gosh, I don't really know what to make with it, I wanted to let you know we have the patterns in now. And there's two patterns that Terry wrote for these. Um, Trick of the Cards, which is a really cute pattern. I'd be made, you can make a lot of things out of this. It would be really fun. Um, I like how the pattern layers. It looks like layers, but I'm sure it's not sewn together with Y seams, but it probably looks like Y seams because it's a good fake. Um, and I love that. I love the fabric and I love the negative space in it because it's going to give you a lot of time to do some fun um, quilting when it's when you're ready to piece it together. Um, and Terry writes great patterns. So that's a fun one. And then the other one she wrote is called Home Gallery. And that uses the big print out of this particular fabric and it shows all the little houses in that print which you know that's lovely for this fabric but let's say you've got something that's a large print and you don't want to lose that piece of fabric in your quilting because sometimes when you take a a piece that has a large repeat that's a 12 or 11 inch piece like this one is see it takes these little houses out and it uses these houses so if you've got a pattern or some fabric that has big chunks in it and you want to use those big chunks, that pattern's going to lend itself to that very nicely. The other thing I like patterns that have big squares in them like that for is for um, wedding quilts or signature quilts. If you've ever done a quilt where you want to have a bunch of people sign it so that you can give it to someone as a gift, it's nice to have that big square so they have some room to do it in. Um, now there's some kind of special things you need to do to be sure that happens correctly. We've got a special fabric pin you can use. There's a called a Pima pin that works really nice for that. And you can write on just regular um, cotton. But if you want to print something, you can also print family pictures and put in the middle of one of these patterns too, which is fun. So I, I think this would be a good pattern to have in your pattern collection. I think whether you use this specific fabric or if you have another fabric you want to work with or if you are eventually going to want to do an, a quilt that's a, a memory quilt it'd be perfect so thanks for terry for giving us those patterns we love those those are really fun um okay one more fabric and i i kind of don't think i have to show you this fabric if you want to know the truth because it's selling it's like right peter yeah <laughs> i think 
It's, I don't even know how people found out we had it. I know. We got it pretty quick. But it's right across here, so it's not very far to go. Should we show it or not? I don't know. I mean, it's selling very quickly. Um, show it real fast. Show hey, it you, real fast. You just talk about it, and just I won't go. show it. Yeah, don't show it to anybody. Let's just, just go. We're not showing it. Yeah, Betty, what do you think? Betty? I've already made something with it, and I'm not a fast. I don't, <laughs> you know. It takes me years to do something, but I, I did something... Bought it on Friday, yeah. made it on Sunday. Yes, yeah. and, it's, and it's hanging in our living room and it's already. it's hanging in my living room. So that's how it well, tells you. This is a really it's fun... It's not quilted yet. It's not quilted, but that's okay. But it's hanging in my living room. Right. So <laughs> this is called Art Journal. And right now, um, art journaling and, and that kind of thing has become very popular. It's kind of scrapbooking meets quilting sort of thing. So these fabrics... Um, are from the Riley Blake Company, and there's more than one texture in here. This is a, is a quilting cotton. I can see this cut into a quilt. I can see these cut attached to canvas and just hung on the wall. I mean, these would be lovely hanging in your home. Um, there's some fun sayings across here. Whoops, let me get it going in the right direction. Um, That, I think that words are fun, too. I mean, that would be fun. Just, you know, put on, finish the edges, fold it under, and hang it on the wall. Same goes for this part here. Let's go in the opposite direction. But look how pretty, how fun that is. So lots of pieces to cut out and use in different places. Um, I just, I see a lot of potential for opportunities for projects with these. Um, the other piece that's in here... Here's another one. This is a little different. Some more pages. Again, it would be real easy just to cut those out, square them up, hang them on your wall. Um, would be great quilt blocks. That pattern I just showed you, I bet, would do this as well. Um, so birds, if you're a bird person. Love to see birds. Birds are my favorite. That's fun. And then... There's two more panels. There's like four panels in this thing, which is a little strange. You don't see that many panels typically. But the idea is you can make a book if you want, or you could glue it into a book. Here's another panel. Look how fun that is. Now, the other thing you need to remember are sta our panels are really good for um, kaleidoscope, what you call stack and whack, because you can buy three panels or four panels, depending on how many pieces you want in your stack, and make a stack and whack quilt pretty easily. You layer them on top of each other and, and they make a really nice um, stack and whack pattern. Four patch posy, sometimes they'll call it that, or kaleidoscope quilts. Panels just naturally cut and ice into, into uh, kaleidoscope quilts. So, we also have with these uh, layer cakes. <laughs> She's coming through. That's fine. We've got charms. These are the five inch charms. A nice little bit of everything in the line. We have the layer cakes right there. So, those are fun to work with. Always make a quick, easy quilt out of charms and layers. Um, and here is a couple jelly rolls, but like. Betty said, this is going quick. Is that the last two? I think it is the last two. We have a 1600 race class coming up. If you're going to want to buy these, you're going to better get them. Right now, during the month of March, it's buy one, get 10%, buy two, get 20%, buy three, get 30% on all our pre-cuts that are like this, charms, layers, and jellies. You can buy these two, you get 20% off, which would be a really good deal. Okay? Lots of fabric cheap. And here's another panel in this. Now this piece of panel of fabric is almost a linen weight or a, it's heavier than linen. What do I want to say? That Peter? one's a twill. Twill. There we go. A twill weave. Peter, it's, it's my favorite fabric. It's got such a beautiful drape. So my thought is. But I, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I would make book covers. Oh yeah. I would use these for book covers. My husband happens to be a book binder. So got a thing or two going on with it when it comes to books but i would i would put these and make actual book covers out of them i think they'd be really cool on the outside of a book because art journaling is huge just 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 pinterest art journaling you'll get tons of stuff it's becoming the new hobby it's kind of the fad but you could certainly use this for that so peter's going to give you a peek at all the line all the fabric in the line how stunningly beautiful it is color variation is Fabulous. 
Oh, I see another jelly roll or two. So we're there's still a few in there. But this is a fun line. It's it's going fast. If you see something you like, please don't wait. Don't wait a hot minute because I'm not kidding you. It's going to go really quick. We've got a couple free patterns there that he's showing you now. The journal panel quilt and the songbird serenade. So if you want to make a quilt, it would make quilts. But I, I think it's art. I mean, I think you could just frame it. You know, buy a canvas, those little flat canvas frames from Hobby Lobby, and then just mount it on one of those canvas and hang it on the wall. It'd be, it'd be stunning that way. There's words, there's tickets, there's great colorway. Music, music, yeah. Handwriting. Oh, look at this one. This one's twill also, I That's think. That's the linen. Oh, this is the it's linen. It's a linen cotton blend. See, I knew there was linen somewhere. Yes. Okay. I see a shirt, man. What do you see? I see butterflies. I see butterflies. One of the gals, <laughs> I did. One of the gals that works here said she'd make a shirt except it had bugs on it. She didn't think she could <laughs> wear it because it had bugs well. on it. But you know, they're friendly bugs. It's dragonflies and and bumblebees and you know a beetle it's probably a good beetle it's a beetle that eats the stuff that should be eaten instead of a bad beetle that's a stink bug though i take that back stink bug is a beetle and they're nasty have you ever had a stink bug in your house peter mm -mm. well i'm not sure you live in indiana it's kind <laughs> of an indiana thing if you if y'all know what a stink bug is they're nasty and they're called stink bugs because they stink when you touch them they stink and they seem to be all year i don't know where they come from but anyway okay so that's that fabric line we're going to go one around here to another little line now you're going to think you've already seen this because we have another fabric line that's very similar this is just a few shades lighter we're going to look at this one. Oh. oh yeah it's called fresh cut i love this fabric and i think it would blend well with some of the other lines we have you know sometimes i think when we when we when we want to be adventuresome about how we choose our fabrics, it's a little scary because you want something that's different than everybody else. It's it's real easy to walk in and just use a whole line. That's kind of, if you don't know how to choose fabric, it's a great way to start. But this line, this line, and that line, they're all three right here together. You could certainly pick and choose and blend and kind of come up with your own custom quilt or project. Um, Designers tend to run in the same colorways in the same seasons. So, you know, these were all coming out right now. I think all those designers must have had lunch somewhere or something. <laughs> Sat down together and went, oh, we need to make this. And, and so we have these similar colors, but they are kind of blending together. But they're, they're still different, unique in their own way. So um, th these colors are singing my name. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to be too much fabric. I'm trying to stay on my fabric diet and not buy more than I need. But that's okay. If we do, we do. So let's go back over here because I want to show you a couple more things. All right, we're going to go back where we started. So this is, this is very strange to be looking at this right now <laughs> because you're thinking, why somebody should, lost their sock. Somebody lost their stocking. So we have an embroidery department and it's fairly new. We opened it right before Christmas, which was, I don't know, maybe it was in November, I think, that it opened. And we're doing custom embroidery work now. And it's really, um, it's been fun. We've been really pleased to offer this to our customers because a lot of people were looking for someone to do custom embroidery. And one of the things we got in were these stockings. And you're thinking, well, why am I talking about it now? Well, here's why. Because come December 24th of this year, when you're like, oh, I need a stocking, we're going to say sorry out of luck. So let's plan ahead. <laughs> right, Peter? Be organized. Um, and let's try and think about doing these sooner. So what happens with this is it unzips. And that's so that either you can put it on your embroidery machine or we can put it on ours. And that means you can stitch all the way down to this part. I could put the name here. We can put the name here. We could put the name on the cuff, um, and and they're not. I mean, they're reasonably priced. They're like sixteen ninety nine. But I hear a couple of our staff had a conversation, and one gal said she'd pay sixteen ninety nine. And the other gal said she'd pay seventeen. So I'm thinking they're worth every penny. Um, and here's the other part. So 
if my kids had this stocking, Christmas morning it would be wah, unzip and open it up instead of having to dig to the bottom of the stocking to get, that was Peter's thought. I think it's absolutely <laughs> true. Um, my kids would do the same thing, man. They would be opening it up to get inside. So if you're thinking about Christmas stockings, don't wait till the last minute. And the other thing is, if you have a family of three right now and you want Christmas stockings and you think your family might grow, which you know, eventually it will. You're going to want more stockings. Buy more than what you need right now so you'll have them later. We spend a lot of time when it gets in November and December, customers coming in and saying, oh, I have a stocking that so-and-so and such-and-such -and -such did for my family. I'm trying to replicate it. Ooh, it's hard. We can't always get the fabric or make it look exactly the same. So save that hassle. Do it now, okay? A little early, but let's do it. Um, okay. The other thing I want to talk about is a class. These are so cute. Now, Peter's a tea drinker, aren't you, Peter? Yes. He yes. loves his hot tea. I love tea. He, he sits, his desk is not too far from mine, and I love to smell the tea that he makes every day for all day long. But these are for a class. It's called Cartonage, and it's Jan's class. And these are tea... Co is it a cozy? What's it called? Tea box. Tea box. Oh, okay. See? <laughs> I'm trying to make it something fancy. Just a tea box. But you put your little tea bags in here, and it has these little dividers. And you can come in a class and make these, which I think is super cool. Now, you wouldn't have to put tea in it. I don't know. You could put crafts in it. You could put something else in it if you wanted to. But um, you make the whole box. She has all the supplies. You just have to bring a fat quarters of your choice so you get your fabric that you want. But Jan teaches these, and they're really, really fun classes. It's called Cartonage. You'll have to go to our website. Peter will put the link on there, and you can sign up for this class in April. So super, super fun. These are sturdy little boxes, too. They're very sturdy. Very sturdy. Aren't they cute? Yeah. we got people in the background watching. They're saying they're cute. Live audience. We live film audience. in front of a live Woo audience. W-A-I-S. The Always and Stitches and What's New News. Um, okay. Now I want to talk about a book. We talked about some patterns. So, <laughs> you know, our staff, our staff is super talented. I, We had a just a stitch-in day just for our staff, and about half the staff could come because, you know, we've got too many people. They can't all come at once. And when we looked around the room and saw the talent we have on our staff, I'm really, Peter included, I mean, we, we just have the most talented staff. We really, really do. Um, and so this book came in, Crochet Borders, um, Every Which Way, 139 Patterns for Customized Edges. And I love this book. It's got some really cute ideas in it. You know, just the ideas alone are worth the the price of the book. Look how many different edges are in there. Good heavens. That's more edges than I could ever imagine to do, along with some good instructions. So here's a sample out of that book. Jessica, who was working in that department that day, had some time. So this is just a piece of fabric, and she's kind of turned the edges under. So see, she's folded it under and stitched it down. And then there's been holes poked, and she's put this edging on there. And isn't that the funnest little, like, table topper, or you could set a candle in the middle of it. You could, you know, I don't know. <laughs> doilies. Do you, did you ever have anybody that you knew that had doilies in their house, Peter? I, I have them. Oh, do you really? Well, that's fun. But people would put them on their, like... Arm. Arm arms chairs, of chairs, the back of a the chair. The back of a chair, because, you know, to keep the hair from... And I love doilies. I think they're really cool. But um, anyway, so this is like a doily. And, you know, I think it's fun. The, the artistry in it's very cool. So this is a fun book, one of our newer books that's in the store. And what the other thing we want to do is give something away. So, you know... We don't always tell you we're going to give something away, but if you comment, it gives us your name, and we know we can give something away. We know who to give something to. We know who to give something to. So this is one of our Always in Stitches project bags, and these are very cool. They've got a nice sturdy zipper in them. They're real heavy. And because she's commented more than once and we love what she says, 
we're going to give this to Michelle Cardwell. So Michelle, when you're watching, I hope you can come pick it up. You look forward to seeing us each week, and we really look forward to seeing your comments because then we know you're watching us. Um, everybody, you know, comment because you never know when we're going to pull your name and give you a prize. So this will be in our orders department, and Michelle will just have to swing by, and she can pick it up. Uh, or give us a call. We can arrange to have it shipped if you need to. But I know Michelle comes in here quite a bit, so we'll see her live. <clears throat> and then, I have to talk about this. This is so cute. There's a little video you're going to see that he's going to plug in here of one of our customers. Not only do we give you things, but you guys give us things. And so I want you to see uh, one of the things that we received and also the opportunity that maybe you could make one too. So Peter, hey, hey. we're so excited. A customer sent these little bunnies to us. We're just, we have the best customers, don't we? We do, I mean, totally. we really, 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 really but, do. You know, of all the customers, Cheryl's the best. Cheryl, yeah, today, <laughs> our favorite customer. <laughs> yes, you can bribe us for that, for that particular <laughs> designation. Anybody who wants to be uh, the best customer of the month, customer. <laughs> just send gifts. Send yeah. gifts. <laughs> we can be bribed with chocolate. <laughs> but There's chocolate inside. Yeah. It's a little bag. Yeah. You, Cheryl made these, and, and we got them in the mail. You know, it's fun to get something in the mail. Yeah. Yeah. We get stuff in the mail, but we don't get to keep it. Oh, there's candy in it. And we found the pattern, or Dawn looked it up and found the pattern on Pinterest. There's candy inside. See it's really candy? not a pattern. It's just a tutorial, but it yeah. tells you exactly how to make them. And it's with another quilt shop, so we're going to shout out to her. And um, Cheryl Wright sent these to us. Yeah. And she's so cute. The best now, customer yeah. ever. Now tell us, tell how we know Cheryl, right? How how? Well, you she, tell them. She, you tell them. You well, tell it's em. your class. Well, I know, but you pick the fabric. So okay, it's it's a cooperative group here. Okay, yeah. so the three of us are all involved in Cheryl's endeavor to do the uh, Cappy's bag. Cappy is Cappy a bag. Cappy is a bag. Cappy's bag. bag class. And what she does is uh, she watches the tutorial. And then she calls Jennifer and says, send me some of everything. And then I pick out the fabric because she liked my uh, videos that we did on, um, well, all the other videos that we've kind of, she liked my fabric choices. Yes. So she has me pick out the fabric. Well, she has Cappy teach the class, <laughs> me pick out the fabric, and, and Jennifer should... takes it, ships it, and get, takes her money. So she was. She, she sends us gifts for taking her money. This is amazing. And look, okay, everybody put your little bunny tail. tail. Put your bunny tails. Look how cute they are. This is adorable. And then here's the little nose. And she put our names on them, but we didn't need names. No. We knew exactly whose was whose without looking at the name. Okay, why is yours that one, Dawn? Well, this is uh, Thimbleberries, uh, vintage Thimbleberries, and I love the colors of Thimbleberries. And so, actually, I have both of these fabrics at home. <laughs> And then Jennifer loves batiks, and purple's her and favorite. And purple's my favorite. So and this Cappy, is perfect. Tula. of course, Tula. What else could it be? Have to be Tula. So it's so cute. So yeah. yeah. So thank you. Thank you so thank much, you, Cheryl. We love them. This is Bye. adorable. And if you want to be our favorite customer, just send us stuff. Yes, just send <laughs> anything fun. Happy Bye. But also, if you want customer service. You know, yeah. if you need oh, yeah. something like that, well, I mean, yeah. she lives in Washington. <laughs> she does. She's taking this Washington monthly State. class, mm -hmm. and she wanted help getting the fabric and the accessories and whatever. So we'll and we, she we trusts us to she do does. that. I know, but we can be bribed. I we just can. want to make the point. <laughs> we can I think be you bribed. Made the point, Cappy. <laughs> Thanks for watching us. Bye. 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 So that's what's new this week at the W A I S What's New News Station. We're really excited you came to see us. Be watching for what's new next week. You know, sometimes we don't even know week to week what we're going to get to talk about. But sometimes they're a little longer. This week they're a little shorter. We've had people on vacation and people out of town. Somebody went to Needle Market. So I know there's going to be a really cool floss tube coming up very soon. And we'll just look forward to seeing you either in the store or on our YouTube page every week with what's new news. Thanks for watching. Have a happy stitchy day.